Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here. Thank you for watching our videos. And today, I want to talk about something really important. I get to work with a lot of inventors. I get to see what works and what doesn't. I get to observe inventors that are doing a great job, but I also get to see and hear about inventors, especially from companies that you're submitting your ideas to. They're telling me, don't be a high maintenance inventor. That's right. I had one of the co-founders of a kitchen company come on the other day and he brought up something I thought was really kind of interesting. He said, Steve, I don't care how great the deal is. If someone comes to us and they're a high maintenance inventor, we run out the door as fast as we can. So what do I mean by high maintenance inventor? Let's talk about a couple of things. And I wrote about this. In fact, I'm going to link to it also for entrepreneur.com. I've been writing for them forever. And I think if you want more information about this, please read the article. I think you really love it. All right. So let's start. First of all, I think it's OK when you're reaching out to a company and you submit it through their black hole. Of course, we all hate it. And then you try to get around another way. Right. You, you submit it online. It goes to a black hole. You don't hear back from anybody. And you're thinking through your head, gee, are they taking my idea? Or maybe do they know I even exist? Or you're just wondering what's going on? I'm here to tell you sometimes they have these online submissions process so they can catalog your idea so they can keep a record of it and they will get to it. It might take in some companies it might take a month, some it might take a week. So you have to be a little patient. But I know a lot of you out there aren't so patient, including myself. So what do you do? You try to get in through another door. You go on LinkedIn, you try to reach out to somebody else. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, and you start to be a pest. We call that a high maintenance inventor. They'll get to you guys. It might take a little bit longer than you think. It's not all about you. And that's the second point I want to make. It isn't all about you. I know when you have an idea, it means everything to you and you truly want this idea to come to market. So you're thinking about it 24 seven. In fact, you're thinking about it so much and talking about it so much. Your friends and relatives and your spouse are probably want to shoot themselves and say, hey, cut it out. You're going overboard. Have some perspective because it's not all about you. These companies do realize you are excited about it. But look at it from their point of view. That's right. Put yourself in their position. They're going to spend a lot of money evaluating your idea. They're going to spend a lot of money taking your idea to market from manufacturing to packaging to, to trade shows. They're going to spend a lot of money on your project. So it's not all about you. You have to put yourself in their position and look at how much money they're spending to help you. So don't be unreasonable. Don't put too much pressure on them and realize when you start to negotiate a little bit, it's a little give and take. That's what it is because you're helping each other. All right. Number three, asking for too much money up front. Oh, I know you've been working on your your invention and idea for probably years. Hopefully that's not true. And you've spent money maybe on patents, maybe trade shows, maybe prototyping, and you like to get some of that money back. Well, I'm here to tell you. You're not going to get it back in most situations by asking for an upfront fee. That's right. You're asking for money up front. Now, in some situations you might be able to ask for a little bit of money up front. But in most situations, they don't want to give you any money up front because it's called top loading the deal. They don't know if they're going to sell one and already you want money. That's crazy. What I tell people, if, if you like to get a little bit of money back from the money you've spent, maybe on your maybe on your intellectual property, huh, maybe ask them for an advance, a small advance and make it recoupable right against future royalties. So it's it's really it's, it's not a problem. Basically, what you're asking them, hey, I've spent all this money. I'm giving you an exclusive. But for that, I needed to file intellectual property. Could you help pay for that? Pretty fair argument. There you go. Number four. Let's see. Number four, high maintenance inventor. 
the prototype comes back, or let's say they take your prototype, they go to China, they get a source, they come up with the price that looks fantastic, and the, your, your sample comes back, and maybe it's not exactly right. Huh. And, and you're thinking, well, what are they doing to my idea? This is my baby. Are they, are they cheapening it? Are they using inferior um, material? Maybe yes, but maybe no. They're probably trying to hit a price point. So you need to be a little flexible and you need to work with them to make sure you get the best possible product. But don't just point the finger at them saying, you've you cheapened my idea. Don't do that. They're trying to get the best possible product at the best possible price point, And they know what that price point is. So what else can I say about a high maintenance inventor? Oh, geez. Um, someone that doesn't understand maybe what a licensing agreement is. And because they don't understand it, you haven't been through it, you're going to probably ask a lot of questions. You might even bring your attorney in, which I never think is a great, great idea, especially at the very beginning of it. Because once you bring your attorney in, they're going to bring their attorney in. And that never works out well. So you need to educate yourself on some of what the licensing terms are. You need to kind of uh, learn from somebody else. Have someone help you so you, you don't ask these stupid questions to these guys. It drive them nuts to think that, geez, who did I partner with? So it's important for you to know the terminology. And it's important also to have a good sense of humor when you are negotiating. Because realize you're going to be working with these people later. So never get angry. Just don't do that. Oh, what's another point of a high maintenance inventor? Well, let's say you send your product off to them and every other day you're emailing them about, what about this? What about that? Did you get it? Did you see it? What do you think? Give them some time. I said that at the very beginning, you need to be a, a little bit patient. High, a high maintenance inventor, in my opinion, um, it's probably, if you're very inexperienced at this, you just care. That's all it is. You're just caring about your product. You want to make sure everybody's doing the right thing. You're probably pretty nervous, too. But educate yourself, right? Talk to someone. Watch our videos. Talk to someone that's already done it. Or watch all our videos here. Read as much as you can about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Anyway, like I said before, I just wrote this um, topic for entrepreneur.com. It's called uh, become an inventor, not a high maintenance one. That's what you want to avoid because I don't care how great your idea is. That, I just said it. I don't care how great it is. If you're a pain in someone's rear end, they're going to walk out the door and say goodbye. They don't need the hassle. You need to help them be successful. You get back to them whenever they ask a question. You ask them if they need anything. You want to make sure that you're following up. Be quick. Be that asset that they really like. But don't be a pain in the... There you go. Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Stephen Key. And I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.